All right, take two. Welcome to Happy Business Drunks, the TV show. Because drunk lives matter. That's right. Mm -hmm. Ugh. A little bit too much coffee, so I don't know if I can win this one. I don't want to shit my pants or puke, so I'm just going to down the as fast as I can get my bottles and I'll take a really big clunker. Did you go to the party last night? <sighs> I skipped that and I went to a better one. Really? Where? Over at my buddies. You hang out with two people, you can still party, you know? Mario, it's actually almost fonder sometimes. Yeah. Less drama. Mm -hmm. So everybody got to talking about the COVID. I know he's a nursing official, so, you know, he's like, we had one worker show up, they had to leave. I'm gonna go party and then I come back and then another one has to leave. <laughs> what? Really? It's like they're training nursing officials more than paramedics these days, so it's so crazy how people are just getting sick and lonely and tired and retarded all the time. It's like build your immunity by good vibes, people, not. There's been more suicides and. You know, well, you know, moderation only's been the key. Since. COVID. I'm a little David short and spot. <laughs> I think this is like here is my some kind of man. Here is the Jewish, Jewish holiday. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's it starting to look like that, you know. Like, Don't you think? It's like, it does. I didn't even realize that. I didn't realize it too until it was like. I was like, that's like kind of I was like, that looks like, like um, the like thing. Jewish holiday? Yeah, right? where they put the uh, menorah burn it from both sides, you know, basically just to hide. The Star of David. It's got two triangles, one going up, one going down. Right. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, A, B, select, start. Nami code. Give me ten lives for free. Ugh. Tough. Fuck, I wish phones came with a breathalyzer, man. I swear, I was fucking wasted last night. Mm -hmm. Five o'clock in the morning. Wouldn't let my sister go to bed. <laughs> Must have just been sitting there strumming all that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Then, I wasn't even locked out. Dude, that shirt is so much better than like uh, the day drinking one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh my god. So I look at this. I don't even remember buying it. I'm like, that fucking shirt's awesome. He's like, don't look at me. I'm like, yes. <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> and what else you got? <laughs> oh, man, this buzz is good. You know what my favorite part in the Home Alone movies is? Oh God, I miss melody pops. Those things were awesome. Remember, you go like, <whistles> and it was just like a piece of candy. People were like, where the fuck is that whistle shit coming from? It's like, memory Bob Melody pop at the store. Those like, weren't, oh. like, popular when I was a kid, but I remember what you're talking about. Uh, anybody's in Home Alone where, like, that dude Buzz is, like, right behind him. His ears are so big, he's got, like, candles right behind him. He's like, do 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 and then he turns around like, fuck you, and just pushes him over, like, the whole choir falls back. You know what? There's a... <laughs> I remember there was a... It was called Paper Candy. My mom didn't like it because it was just like the bread they give at church. She was like, that's mocking the church. Or whatever. Oh, whatever. I, I like, remember the fake so cigarette ones. They oh, looked yeah. like Lucky Strikes. I can't remember what they Popeyes? called. Popeyes? Popeyes like, cigarettes? Like, like people like, you're not supposed to inhale them. You're supposed to blow them out. You blow it out? That's what then I inhale them. Like, <coughs> it's like, then, yeah. That'd be a warning. sugar would come out or something. It's like, you're not supposed to puff cigarettes out. But mm -hmm. yeah, you're supposed to go. Slowly on a windy day. Otherwise, there's uh, those ugly candy ones that you just. Like, some friends of mine had the bubble thing, bubbles like remember blowing smoke bubbles and just, like with the candy powder stuff. You go like, and they would like go like, and you try to catch a bubble within like a big what? bubble. Oh yeah, yeah, those are cool. They just look and up like those. those smoke ones. It would just kind of go like, but they're like so powdery. It would just balance on the inside. You know the floors in the housing, are like. Once they're stained, they're pretty much stained. But one time I accidentally spilled a big old jug of those bubbles and that whole spot got white. I'm like, bubbles work for the housing. Don't they? 
They do. Remember scrubbing bubbles with an SOS pad? <laughs> like, Come on, get out of the fuck! Get the fucking shit! Get the fucking shit out of here! I'm just, I'm just picturing. We're gonna take up the cock again. Oh, uh, fucking Trey uh, Park boys and fucking. <laughs> <laughs> he looks stop boys. Oh! <laughs> oh my god! That's like Kelly's long lost ugly. Er, brother. No, right. Kelly's his ugly brother. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> right? And he's like, What are you? <laughs> Who's down there? Is that like Fred Flintstone means Barney Rubble? It's like Fred like lives in America and Barney lives in Canada now. Shut up, for real. <laughs> you liar. Bubbles. <laughs> bubbles and Kelly. Yeah, we're we're like, like, you're so full of shit. They would just be like sitting there, fucking filling each other's butt. You hate all my fucking nuts. I'm gonna choke you. <laughs> or what if, like, what if, like, the Rubbles and the Flintstones started messing around with each other? Started having this fucking I think that was the there. point of the whole show. Shut up. It's like they're neighbors, no. but they're friends, but they have our cock called theirs. They totally have orgies. But there was. I don't know, there's weird things there. It's like, that's all the pterodactyl did? Can it sit there and make a record? So, <laughs> they didn't know the press that night. And then she, Betty come over and use the Lazy Susan turn box. And I was wait, I'd watch like Fred and Barney dance. And then let's get Mr. Slate over here and maybe... Uh, they even had telephones, eh? I don't know what the hell is his name. Oh yeah, Cogswell is in... Uh, Oh, that was a good one too. Right. It's like well, they only lived in like they only lived right above them. Like, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck it's is like what the hell? hell? <laughs> what the hell? What year is it? It's like 2004. The Flintstones are jealous of the Jetsons. The Flintstones because, are like not because they can order a fucking Brontosaurus burger in a machine. <laughs> 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 yeah, and the Brachiosaurus burger came out. <laughs> One day, this was very useful when me and my sister were little. Well, she was probably like 12. My sister Carrie. And she was like falling off the bed, and I'm trying to grab her, right? And as she's saying it, she's like, help me. She goes, and when she's saying it, she sounds just like Barney Rebel. So, Barney Rebel. So, she's like, help me, Fred. <laughs> Fred. Fred. <laughs> it's fucking Barney. the funniest shit ever. Like, one, day, one day I was hanging out, man, I don't know the docks or anything, but man, Joe Cool sitting over there in the red cliff area, you know, little Murray. And I was sitting like, dude, get your haircut, you look at just like fucking Fred Flintstone. It. He just <laughs> took it fucking the wrong way. He's like, fuck you. <laughs> I don't know why it was so Where, bad. What is he saying that Fred Flintstone isn't hot? Right? <laughs> what isn't the there fuck? women out there that like Fred Flintstone? Right? And not the one with I the... Mean, not belly size, because he looks not, more like Dino. He looks more like, like Dino. Uh, with a bigger belly, though. Remember Dan? Uh, Roseanne's husband. Oh, Slade. Dan Connor. Yeah, played Fred Flintstone. I forgot that. And then fucking, uh, wasn't it Alec Baldwin? Played Barney. But yeah. then they did, like, the other one with, like, uh, Rosie O'Donnell as Betty. And they had to have Rick Moranis play, like, fucking... Barney's. Yeah. The, the people of Rock game. Vegas I one. It. It had I Halle Berry in it. It's like, oh, wow. Howdy. That's the first time I ever saw a picture of her. I had the books back in the day with the colored pictures. And said, oh, who's that? Bruno Mars used to jack off to her. I bet. <laughs> That's where I bet, I bet he can't. Yeah, I bet to this day he refuses song. to watch Monsters Ball. I don't want to see Billy Pop slapping that ass and fucking way and tapping her right from the back. Because her dad was so fucking racist, like he had to fucking just. Say hell no, Raymond. Did you have a COVID mask when you went to the store? Not everybody loves that shit, huh? Did you have a COVID mask when you went to the store? Yeah. I fucking had to grab one in my life. COVID mask. Lame, I know, right? Remember that robot from like. Rosie. Oh, Mr. J. And she'd be like, Doo -doo. and she'd be like, oh, time to go clean the sheets. Like, doo -doo -doo -doo. 
Is she gonna like roll away? On the Jetsons? Like your head looked like a piece of toilet paper? Oh yeah, she was the maid. Yeah, she yeah. was a robot maid, yeah. Ugh. She was a shit though. She was awesome, that was the funniest part of it. It was like I just got this funny feeling like, well, she has like eyes, that hair is like fucking uh Wilma. But she kinda like you know lounges around like Betty. Then Elroy. The Astro. I wonder what they have on him. Uh, and they have a dog to it. And then he'd, he'd throw something and like the dog would have the mask on and just run around with the boots. <laughs> Fucking Georgie gets stuck in the treadmill again. <laughs> Excuse me. Hold on. Hmm. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Voulez-vous? 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 Man, French people hate Americans more than Californians hate Northerners. Well. Well. I've never born with a butt chin French people are fucking assholes, I swear. Like, I, I only say that because I'm from Canada. It's like and they like, got the Mademoiselle like is such a cunt. Because it's too much of an insult to be pinching salt on my She wouldn't let or... us use the bathroom unless we could say it in French. So to be like, trying just hard not to live I remember here. watching one year when fucking Leonardo DiCaprio won the Grammys or the Oscar or whatever. The thing he was always looking for. And he was sitting there and they just held the camera on him. He's like, get out of here. I'm going to join Drink. It's like, but do you care that you won the award for being the best Native American player for the Cree? I said, yes, I do realize I got stung by porcupines a lot as a kid, but I do understand that most women love my movie Titanic. <laughs> so starring in next to Rose McGowan. I mean, uh, what's her name? Oh Kate Winslet. Oh my god. I got so wasted at that movie. I was like, <sighs> crying around like a little bitch. Girl. I didn't see it in the theater. I see it in theater. Because all the boys in my grade saw, like, all the ladies from, like, oh, uh huh, yeah, Caprio. I'm like, oh, that dude's that fucking retard from that Benny and June sequel movie. (laughs) 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 So then one day, I fucking watched it. And my buddy, he's like six foot two back in, like, sixth grade, man. And he's like, you watched it, didn't you become one of them? Like, he was going to beat me up. He was so fucking bad about it. But then he actually watched, yeah, that was actually pretty fucking good. It's like, huh. It's, it's like, what, do you think James Cameron was going to add fucking aliens to it again or something? Shit, man. James is historical movies, not fucking literature. Potty seat movements for fucking H.R. Geiger anymore. Shit. Whatever. Scorny Weaver was never in that movie. <laughs> what the fuck? <clears throat> Keep moving the lawn, motherfucker. What? BLA. Ugh. But and then they made the Titanic 2. They made the Titanic 2, did you know that? Nuh-uh. Yes, they did. Why? Because they just it happened one time. You. It, it was happened the... one motherfucking <laughs> They're time. They're not going to make a third one. Oh I my hope God. not. It's so gay. It would be so fucking gay. What the fuck does the second one have to do with anything? Uh, so fucking, it happened one time. It's fucking dude. retarded. <laughs> you won't be able to sit through it. You'll fucking fall asleep from fucking laughter. <laughs> That's, it's like the ship sailed and got there. Then they went back and they tried doing it twice. And everybody oh, remember yeah. the second I time because we got the French to wave goodbye. Like. <laughs> so much shit. No, they did make a sequel. It was some shitty uh-uh. fucking company. I don't even know. I did see that. Are you movie. sure it wasn't just yes, a porn? Yes, saw it years ago. I saw it like in 2010 or 11. It wasn't, wasn't a porn. Just a porn. <laughs> it wasn't because it was on Netflix. So? And it's probably still on Netflix. Just look for it. They got the hidden list of all the movies. God, yeah, I don't even want to look for that. Shit. Oh my god, you won't be fucking. Oh my gosh, there's this one show you have to watch on Netflix. It's called, um. Fuck. I forget, but. It's super good. <laughs> it's, like, it's called, like, Fuck My Life or Nothing to Do with My Fucking Life or something like that. Who would win in a fight? Hedo Bear versus 
Critters. It is. It's a good movie, though. I mean, it's a good series. They probably team up. Do with that what you will. <sighs> I like Borschnick. <sighs> as well as those <sighs> paddle bears. Imagine an anaconda so big it could eat a polar bear in one day. Shit it out, then go eat a fucking grizzly. Shit that out, and then go eat a whole family of fucking black bears. Shit While it out. shedding skin. And then go fucking hang out with the koala bears. For real. And the pandas. And, yeah. <laughs> and then not do anything and else but look around. <laughs> I've eaten enough, man. <laughs> Fuck, almost my gut hurts sometimes worse than Satan's fucking asshole does. <laughs> Getting fucked by gas pipe heads. <laughs>